If it's been years since you last set foot in Macau, you'll be surprised by how much it has changed. But don't go anywhere because in this video, we'll show you around some of its newest attractions. Hey there, poor traveler, we are Vince and Josh. We have been travel blogging for the past 14 years, visiting almost 60 countries. And one of our favorite destinations to return to is Macau. But if you're new here and you want informative and helpful travel videos, we'll give you a second to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell beside it so you're always notified whenever we have new content. If you're watching this on Facebook, we're on the road to 1 million followers so please like and follow this page too. When it comes to transformation, few could rival Macau. Every time we return, we're always greeted by something new, be it a new hotel or a new attraction. We recently made two separate trips, but it has been years since we last set foot in the territory prior to it. And we were surprised how drastically Macau has transformed. In this episode, we'll take you to seven of the freshest Macau attractions that opened during or after the pandemic. Starting with something truly magical. Yes, Macau is also now home to a Harry Potter attraction. And as Potterheads ourselves, Wherever there are traces of the wizarding world will be there sooner or later. Sooner in this case because it was just inaugurated on December 15th, 2023. Yes, we were able to visit just a month after it opened its doors to wizard wannabes like us. Encompassing almost 3,000 square meters, this brand new interactive museum inside the Londoner will take you through more than 20 magical galleries. But before you start exploring, you need to register first for a more personalized experience. You'll be given an electronic wristband that you can use to access many of the fun activities like seeing your name on the Marauder's Map, brewing your favorite potion, harvesting a shockingly silent mandrake, and having a go at divination. There's a section where you could conquer a Bogart or your greatest fear or conjure a Patronus. Vince had a field day trying to hone his non-existent Quidditch shooting skills too. But my favorite part is this corner where they display the Deathly Hallows. Here's the Resurrection Stone and the Elder Wand and of course the Invisibility Cloak that you cannot see because it's invisible. But trust that it's there. Along the way, you'll get to know more about Hogwarts and the Wizarding World in general and how the filmmakers brought them to life. It was fun but if you've been to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in Tokyo, just temper your expectations a little bit. It's not as huge or as grand or as immersive, but it's a great experience nevertheless. It's a fantastic dose of nostalgia for Potterheads. Regular time slot tickets cost 218 patakas on weekdays or 268 on weekends and holidays. These tickets are limited only to specific time slots, but if you want flexible tickets, you can snatch one on clock. Just visit the links in the description and use our promo code the poor traveler single L for 5% discount. But this Harry Potter exhibition isn't the only family-friendly attraction here at the Londoner. This London-themed hotel and entertainment complex officially opened on the 25th of May 2023. This was the site of the Sands Kotai Central before, but it wasn't just given a simple rebrand. It's more like a complete British makeover, from the exterior to the attractions housed in it. The first thing you'll notice is its stunning facade, a lookalike of the Palace of Westminster and Houses of Parliament and a replica of the Big Ben trying to compete for attention from the Parisian's Eiffel Tower just across the street. It chimes every hour but it's most spectacular at night. Inside, you'll find a replica of this iconic fountain at the main lobby. And from here, you can get lost in mini London and take only selfies at the many UK icons scattered around including this double-decker bus and a statue of Sir Winston Churchill greeting everyone at 10 Downing Street. You can also hop into this taxi for what they call Black Cab Escape, where you'll get to have a virtual drive with David Beckham. Sorry for jumping in, but thanks for the ride. These are just some of the many attractions inside. We were told there's also a changing of the guards, but we didn't get to see it. All these can be accessed for free, by the way. 
We've been at the Team Lab Museum in Tokyo, Singapore, and Osaka, so we weren't particularly thrilled about visiting another one. But boy, oh boy, Macau's Team Lab Super Nature is one of the best. For the uninitiated, Team Lab is an international art collective that was formed in Tokyo. It's behind many of the body immersive museums and installations that quote, seek to transcend the boundaries between the self and the world and our perceptions of them. Wow, such highfalutin words. But in simpler terms, think of it as an interactive art museum on steroids. The entire space is the canvas and the art isn't merely put on display. It moves, pops in and out, and invites audience participation. We're not just observers. Often, we become part of the piece, just like this wall on which flowers blossom as it detects movement. It's mesmerizing and creative. And this creativity is evident in all 5,000 square meters of Team Lab Supernature. It has a high ceiling too. In this room, you can draw a flower or a frog. Scan your sketch and watch it become a part of this giant artwork. Or you can draw a circle of colors and make it rain. Team Lab Supernature has been around since the pandemic years. But some of its best exhibitions were only made available starting June 2023. Three of them require payment on top of the entrance fee though. These are the Floating Flower Garden, which is a room of mirrors bursting with 8,000 live orchids that seem to float in mid-air. This tea house where you are served matcha and ice cream while you watch flowers and branches sprout and grow each time you put your cup down and see them wither and dry as you lift them for a sip. But my favorite space is this one, called Massless Clouds Between Sculpture and Life. To access it, you need to be fully covered, so expect it on a raincoat, goggles, and waterproof shoe covers. Then, you enter a room full of foam that resemble clouds. It's just that, actually. Like detergent foam. Now that I think about it, I can't believe I paid extra for that, but it took me back to my childhood when I would always play with foam and bubbles while helping my family do the laundry. And just being in that moment and knowing that I never really had any opportunity to do that anymore, it was bliss. And I think that's the beauty of it. That's why Team Lab works. It allows us to reconnect with a part of ourselves that we forget is still with us. I'm telling you, I can't remember the last time I held a crayon and drew something. And I could do it anytime, yes, but it wouldn't enter my mind in normal circumstances and not in this almost magical environment. Anyway, regular tickets cost 290 patakas apiece, but you can get discounted tickets on Cloak. Aside from that discount, you can also get an additional 5% off capped at 40 patakas if you apply our promo code the Poor Traveler single L. I know I've been flexing our promo code a lot lately but we really want you to get those savings and when you do, you support this channel at the same time. Win-win! And oh, Team Lab Macau is inside the Venetian. Another newly opened virtual attraction is Illuminarium. Present also in Las Vegas, Toronto, and Atlanta, Illuminarium has reached Asian shores and set up shop here at the Wind Palace, Kotai. It's also immersive, allowing you to experience sensory and sometimes interactive digital presentations as though you're in that world, which is just projected on the walls, floors, and ceilings. Here at Illuminarium Macau, we were told that the theme changes every season or so, but for now, the spotlight is on space exploration. As you walk from room to room, you get to marvel at the vastness and grandness of the universe. It's open from Tuesdays to Sundays, 11am to 7pm, and closed on Mondays. And the ticket costs 228 patakas. The Macau Grand Prix is one of the most anticipated sporting events in this part of the world, drawing in throngs of visitors. And in 1993, in celebration of the race's 40th anniversary, the Macau Grand Prix Museum was opened. 
but the Macau Government Tourism Office breathed new life into it in 2021 when it underwent major remodeling and filled it with more exciting attractions including virtual reality simulators and eight wax figures of famous Grand Prix champions, five of which were in collaboration with Madame Tussauds. The museum houses four levels of racing artifacts, models, and information. The top floor is dedicated to the Macau Motorcycle Grand Prix. We tried riding a motorcycle here and oh my gosh, I was awful at it. Totally horrendous and hopeless. If it were a real course, I would have been dead 10 seconds into it. And mind you, I know how to drive a motorcycle but it felt completely different. So different, I wasn't able to finish the course. I probably held the record for worst driver that day. The first floor is where you'll find Formula Race cars. And yes, there are also simulators here, but the queue was quite long and it moved very slowly so I didn't even bother. Also, because I totally sucked at the two-wheel ride, I would probably crash this one pretty horribly too. So I just took my chances at the other fun activities here. I sucked at them too, but at least I sucked in secret because no one was watching this time around. Yeah, I know how wrong it sounded, but man, I sucked at these games. <laughs> anyway, down to the basement we went. This is the Macau GT Cup and Gear Race Zone, and it's also filled with so many race-related activities. You can try to be a media coverage staff or change wheels at a pit stop. If you're a racing fan or you just love cars and motorcycles, you'll definitely have a field day here. As for me, the only race I enjoy watching is RuPaul's Drag Race which is a completely different thing. <laughs> but although I wasn't good at any of it, I still had a lot of fun here at the Macau Grand Prix Museum. From one sport to the next! The Macau government is really serious in building up and promoting Macau as the city of sport. Inaugurated in December 2023, the Martial Arts Arena also utilizes virtual reality and other tech to highlight Wushu. Wushu means martial arts and it puts together many Chinese forms like Tai Chi and Shaolin Kung Fu. As you enter the Martial Arts Arena, you'll be handed a card that you'll need to scan to take on several challenges, each focusing on an aspect of Wushu. This one is all about the form. All you need to do is mimic the poses accurately and timely to earn points. This one is about speed and footwork but in a fun way. You have to cross to the other side by stepping on these logs. That's my new bestie Kara conquering it with flying colors. And these are Nico and Daniela giving this punching spot a go. And Vince of course who turned out to be really skilled at chopping firewood. Fruit ninja style. And it all comes together here where you get to apply everything you've learned along the way. Here's my friend Jed fighting an imaginary... I don't know. I don't, I, 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 I don't really know what's happening here. But you know. Party. I think he's having a blast. Oh, I almost forgot. Just beside it is another attraction called AI Wonderland. Which features various forms of artificial intelligence. But they enjoy the martial arts arena much more. But both are located at the Grand Lishboa Palace Resort. Speaking of... Macau has seen a lot of new hotel complexes rise over the past few years, forever changing the city skyline. W Macau and its in-house buffet restaurant, Hawker Hawker, have just recently opened to guests and diners. But this time, let's focus on another new resort on the other side of the strip, Grand Lishboa Palace Resort. Not to be confused with its sister pineapple-shaped property in the peninsula, the Grand Lishboa Palace is bigger and grander in many ways. It has three hotels, Grand Lishboa Palace, the Karl Lagerfeld, and Palazzo Versace. We've never tried staying at any of them, but at the invitation of the Macau Government Tourism Office, we were given a tour of the complex. The Grand Lishboa Palace gives a nod to the Sino-Portuguese traditions while the Karl Lagerfeld just screams style and luxury. At its core is a European-inspired courtyard called Secret Garden. There wasn't much crowd here when we visited so it was nice to have some peace and quiet that time. You can also find Instagrammable spots wherever you look. And yes, you can access it for free. 
Inside at the mall area, aside from the martial arts arena and the AI Wonderland, you'll also find several shopping and dining establishments, the biggest name of which is the Palace Garden, a michelin sighted Taishi restaurant helmed by head chef Ken Chong. We talked about this and W Hotel's Hawker Hawker in our previous video. You may check that one out if you want to learn more. Both of these restos are pretty upscale but we also featured some budget-friendly options there. Just search our video gallery. While most of the new attractions we featured here collect an entrance fee, Macau has a lot of free attractions too. That's what we'll show you next episode so hit the subscribe button and the bell icon beside it if you haven't yet so you're always notified whenever we have new uploads. By the way, Philippine Airlines offers direct flights from Manila to Macau. So if you haven't booked a ticket yet, consider flying with PAL. One thing I love about PAL is the generous baggage allowance that automatically comes with each booking. For Macau flights, check-in baggage can weigh 25 kilograms maximum for economy passengers. That's on top of the 7 kilo carry-on baggage allowance. Another reason we prefer PAL is its 4-star service and delicious in-flight meals and unlimited drinks on board, which are already included in the booking. Visit philippineairlines.com to search for flights to Macau. Again, special thanks to the Macau Government Tourism Office for making our most recent trip possible. You can also follow us on Instagram, X, and TikTok. Just search at The Poor Traveler, single L. We also have a podcast. Follow The Poor Traveler Podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. That's all for now. Remember, plan smart, travel safe, and make every trip worth it.